Hello and welcome to the Junior Panthers Spiceworks Ticketing System tutorial video. Today we will be showing you how to install and use the Spiceworks Ticketing System software. Getting started. Navigate to www.spiceworks.com slash free help desk software. Click Log In on the top right corner of the screen. Click Join Now at the bottom half of the login screen. Enter your first name, last name, and email into the fields below and click Join Now at the bottom of the pop-up screen. A verification screen will prompt you to check your email. Confirm your address. You will be taken to a screen to set up your Spiceworks profile. Enter your company, industry, and create your password. It should be at least eight characters and contain one capital letter. Click Next at the bottom of the screen. Check the relevant boxes on the next screen and create profile. You will be taken to the Spiceworks desktop page. Click Help Desk at the top right corner of your screen. On the next page, click Launch Help Desk. Create your company name and the page will automatically assign you a domain name for your company. Create your admin credentials by entering your first name, last name, and email address and the password you used when you created your account in Step 4. Then click Launch My Help Desk. Log in with your admin credentials on your community account. Create your help desk email account by entering in your organization and the domain to which you will be contacted. Then click Launch My Help Desk. There is also a contact number and an email for Spiceworks if you require any further assistance.
you are now at the hub of your Spiceworks help desk page. It should look something like this. Adding technicians or administrators. Under an administrator account, click on the navigation bar. In the settings option, click on employee administration. Click on add administrator or add technician, depending on what you want to add. In the form, add first name, last name, and email address, as well as rates if applicable. Click the Save button. The contact you added will get email. Click on the button to add password. Changing status of employees. Under an administrator account, click on the navigation bar. In settings option, click on employee administration. Click on Edit on the employee you wish to edit. For administrator options, click on Convert to Admin. For Technician slash Owner options, click on Convert to Tech and Owner. manually adding a ticket. On the Help Desk menu page, click on Tickets. Click New Tickets. Under Contact, enter client's email address, press Enter to continue to the summary field. This will forward all communication between the Help Desk technicians and the client submitting the ticket. Enter Brief Summary of Issue in the Summary field. Description of the Actual Incident in the Description field. If needed, assign your technician and due date in the Assignee and Due Date fields. Priority can also be assigned to the ticket. You can choose High, Medium, or Low, depending on the incident. Assigning and Merging Tickets. Under Open Tickets, scroll to the bottom of the screen. Click your technician name listed in the Dropbox called Assignee. Click on the first ticket you wish to merge into another. On the ticket number you chose, click the down arrow next to Close. Two choices appear in the Dropbox, Waiting on User or Merge into another ticket. Choose Merge into another ticket. A screen pops up showing you other open tickets that you may wish to merge with. Click the desired ticket and click Continue. Four. Closing and Reopening Tickets To close tickets, click on the ticket number you wish to close. At the top of the ticket, click Close, and the ticket will close. You can view all closed tickets in the top right corner of the Help Desk page. Click the little arrow next to the drop-down menu box called Open Tickets. Choose Close Tickets. There you will find archived summaries of all the tickets you have worked on and closed. Reopening a ticket from archives. 
click on the ticket number you want to reopen, click on the reopen button. To see it, click on the drop down list again and return to open tickets. Commenting and attaching files. Click on the ticket number that you want to respond to. Scroll down to Activity and add a comment. You can click Save to post the comment, or if you want, you can click Attach File and choose the file from your hard drive that you want to upload. Now click Save. With this video, the Junior Panthers and Spiceworks have equipped you with all you need to start your own help desk ticketing system. Any questions or comments, please contact info at spiceworks.com. Thank you.